Prince Harry has lost his court case against the Home Office over a decision to provide him with less security when he visits the UK. Now that he's no longer a working royal, this decision could be a big disappointment for the youngest son of the king, who has said before that he doesn't think his children can feel at home in the UK if they can't be kept safe there. This might affect how much time he spends in the UK, and how often Meghan and their kids, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, visit his homeland. Royal expert Tessa Dunlop explains how this judgment could have effects in the future. Prince Harry's relationship with King Charles. The Duke returned to the UK last month after the King was diagnosed with cancer. They had a short meeting, thought to have lasted about 30 minutes. Harry later said he felt lucky to have been able to see his father, adding it could lead to a reunion with his family. This sparked hope among royal fans that the strained relations between the pair could be improving. Tessa explained, once a prince, always a prince. At the heart of Harry's case against the UK government was his birthright as a man born to the son of a future king. Regardless of the Sussex's rejection of working royal life, the couple clearly believed that the risk level of traveling to the UK merited comprehensive security protection, any suggestion otherwise Harry was deemed unlawful and unfair. The fact that the High Court has just rejected his legal challenge over security, and the UK will be seen by the Sussexes as another blow from the British establishment. The ruling that they do not require full royal protection will set back the recent efforts at reconciliation between estranged royals, King Charles's facilitation of Harry's last-minute visit. In the wake of his cancer, diagnosis shows a father keen to build bridges. The expert added, however, with the Sussex's security concerns rejected by the court, more frequent reunions with the prince and his young family now look less likely. If the king disapproves of Harry's continuous litigation, there must be a small part of the ailing monarch that respects his youngest son's tenacity. Harry's loss in court today is a reminder that the path he has chosen is not one for the faint-hearted. Chances of Harry returning to royal life. There have been many reports in recent weeks of a possible return to the fold for Harry. The royal family is short on numbers at the moment. With Charles away from duties as he undergoes cancer treatment and the Princess of Wales recovering from her abdominal surgery, there were some suggestions that Harry would have been willing to step up to fill any gaps. However Tessa now believes this ruling will change that. She said, once again much of the chat has been about an absence of William. Yesterday he did not give the reading at his godfather Constantine II of Greece's memorial service. Pulling out at the last minute, instead Prince Andrew was leading the fray into St. George's Chapel, hardly ideal royal PR and another timely reminder that Harry is much missed. Any hope that he may return to the fold, even intermittently has been kibushed by today's High Court ruling, that the Sussex family do not merit full royal protection. Why should the absent prince put in more royal time if the UK government doesn't consider him? Worthy of more than case-by-case -case royal protection, the king cannot control the courts nor the government that rules in his name. But whatever way you flip this verdict it is not good for future family relations. Meghan's relationship with royals and likelihood to return to UK. But it's not just Harry that the decision will directly affect, it will also play a part in whether Meghan Markle will return to the UK for future visits. Tessa added, let's be candid. It was Harry who led the charge against the British government and his family's right to full royal protection, but much of his fighting zeal was informed, not only by his mother's tragic death, but also the security issues surrounding his new wife. He wrote candidly of the racist taunts and death threats Meghan was subjected to. At the time of their wedding, the official threat level was off the scale. Since then the attention and trolling the Sussexes receive has continued unabated. Given today's ruling, do not expect to see Meghan in Britain anytime soon. As a working royal the Duchess didn't feel secure in the UK. And back then she was the beneficiary of full royal protection. The relationship between Archie and Lilibet and the royal family. Meghan isn't the only one affected by this ruling. It could also impact how often the royal family get to see Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, Tessa said, 
it is impossible not to feel sad about the prospect of an ill, aged king who is unable to see his grandchildren. But sadly, happy family reunions look even less likely, and the wake of today's High Court ruling, Charles, a loving man, has scarcely so much as glimpsed Archie and Lilibet. And despite warmer relations between father and son, once more the machinations of state affairs have got in the way. The British government successfully fought off the Sussexes, claim that they require full royal protection. And ironically, it is a decision that will cost their king access to his transatlantic grandchildren. She continued, Harry is not the only royal who will feel distraught about the implications of today's ruling. It is another reminder that the Windsor family's domestic lives are governed by very different rules from the rest of us. Meghan and Harry's new life after rebranding. Harry's latest setback comes as he and Meghan seem to be revamping their image. Following the launch of their contentious Sussex, Con website, Tessa commented, there has been much talk of Harry and Meghan's rebrand, including criticism of their new coat of arms, certainly the couple's website has plenty. Appropriated royal gloss. But the fallout from recent events in Britain suggest it is the royal family who are missing the Sussex gloss. At a memorial service for the late former King of Greece, the British contingent's lack of star power was conspicuous for its absence. With Kate and the King still out of action and William missing. In action, Prince Andrew took center stage not a good look. Tessa concluded, all in all, it served as a pertinent reminder that Harry and Meghan brought celebrity appeal to royal events. Instead it was the wintry slopes of British Columbia and Canada that were the recent recipients of the Sussex's sheen. As promised Harry is still serving he was promoting the Invictus Games, but that service is no longer in the name of Great Britain.